have this setting inside your phone? If you do, it is kind of too late because all this app has access to all the photos and videos and all the documents inside your phone. And big disclaimer, hacking is illegal. So in today's tutorial, we're learning about how to defend ourselves by making sure that you review all these mobile application permissions that's been granted inside your phone. So right in front of us, I have a mobile device and it doesn't matter what mobile device it is. So in this case, we have an Android device. Likewise, it can be an iPhone, doesn't matter. So if I was to pull from the bottom to the top, all right, and if I was to go ahead and click onto settings, and if I was to click under apps and notifications, and if you will go ahead, all right, if you go ahead and click under permission manager, so you want to find out and figure out which of this particular applications have access to which part of your phone, this is the place to go into. So under permission manager, right? So in the following, we have, say, for example, location, contacts, camera, we have storage. So if I click under storage, it will bring me to this particular page. All right, so in this page, we can see all the apps that have access to photos, media and files on your device. So in this case, I have one APK file, one mobile app here called Process Manager. Go ahead and click on it. And you can see the following, right? Storage access for this app is allowed, okay? It means that this application, all right, has access to everything inside your phone. And how do I know? And it doesn't matter whether I am using this through Lemon as a mobile application to view all these permissions. But right now I'm coming from Metasploit MSF Venom, where we create an APK file that has requests, all right, for all these permissions inside the phone. And once you click next, yes, to all these permission requests, that's it. You can see everything inside your phone. So right in front of us, I have Lemon, right? So Lemon is the ability for us to build an APK file. And then after which we can provide it to a particular mobile device. And once the mobile device installs this application, and once the user has granted all of these permissions, we can see everything inside the phone. So right in front of us, I have the following online device. So let's go ahead and click manage on it. And once we're here, all right, you can see right at the left side, all of this of the permissions that's been granted to this specific mobile application in which now we can begin seeing and viewing all the files and folders inside of it. So if I go ahead and click under File Explorer, all right, you see right here, okay, I can go back into the directory, all right, we can see all the files here. I can see Android, music, podcast, notification, pictures, movies, download. So what we're going to do here is to find out what has this user been downloading, all right, into their phone through the browser? Let's go ahead and click on the download. And this would open up the directory. And you can see right here, we got two files. We got crop-0 and we got 3226 and so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and click download on it. All right, you can see the following, downloading file. It will be available in download soon. Let's go ahead and click on the second file here. So what we're doing here is literally downloading files from the mobile device into the hacker's computer right here. So if I go to the bottom left side and click under downloads, here we can see all the downloads that we have done over the past few downloads requests that we have sent over into the mobile device. So in this case, taking a look at the latest one right here, okay, we got a following. We got 2021-031435. Let's go ahead and click open. And we can see here, all right, this user is a fanboy of Hacker Alloy. Okay, and if I was to go ahead and click onto the second file, click open again, and we can see right here again, all right? This user has been downloading photos of Hackaloy because he's a big fanboy. He's a subscriber. He turns on notification all the time to get updates on the latest article hacking tutorials. I've been receiving a lot of such comment about how do we fix this particular issue. So what you need to do is, as you can see here, we are on the following directory, all right? So here I have lemon server, I can enter ls. And this is the place where you can find maindb.json. All right, so what I can do now is go ahead and use say mousepad and open up maindb.json. So this is the place where you configure the username as well as the password field. So if I was to go back into lemon, all right, as you can see here, I can go to the top right corner, I can click log out, and now this will log me out of lemon. All right, and in order to access it, you need to enter the IP address, followed by the port number of 22533, followed by slash login in order to reach the login page. So you can use any browser you want, whether you're hosting it in your local network or you're hosting it on a local host. So what I can do now is go ahead and enter, all right, in this case, we have the username. Okay, we have the username right here, which is Hackaloy. Okay, so I can go ahead and enter Hackaloy. And then of course, the second part is the password field. So you'd be saying, 
this doesn't look like the password, all right? I mean, is this the full password? It's not. So this password is using MD5 format. So what you can do now is go ahead and say, go into say any of your favorite search engine. And what you can do now is to search for MD5, all right? Hash, and then you can hit on this and you can go to say MD5HashGenerator.com. And what you can do now is to enter a particular value, all right? So in this case, we can enter value like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, click generate. And then what you can see here is we have the following, right? This is the MD5 hash value, which is 25D55 and so on. So you can go ahead and click copy on it, go back into main db.json and paste it right here. All right, you'll be able to understand that my password to log into Labon is literally 12345678. So if I go back into the login page, I enter 12345678, I click login, and then this will bring me into the console of Lemon. So as quickly as that, we're able to gain full access into the mobile device and we can see all the photos, all the videos, all the files that have been downloaded into the phone because of a permission has been granted to the mobile application to access into the device. So once again, I hope you learned something valuable in today's tutorial. I'm like, share, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you can be kept abreast of the latest article hacking tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.